Hi guys! Karibuni! It's Lucas and Faith! Once again, we are back with another video! Yes, we are. And as you guys can see, I couldn't find my hat, so we just had to make do with what we got. So we're just gonna move right on. Let's just like, just try to ignore anything that doesn't look quite in place. Okay? <laughs> so anyway, this video is all about... Cultural differences! Yeah, so this is something we've been talking a lot about. And uh, we just thought it'd be fun to get into some of the things, you know, growing up, what was different between her childhood and my childhood. And so, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So I went to primary school, uh, at a school called Juta Academy. And then for secondary school, I went to Kahuhia Girls High School. Okay. Where did you go to school? So I went to somewhere called homeschool. It's not like the norm in, in the U.S. But, you know... He was homeschooled by his parents. Yeah, my parents just taught me. So, uh, yeah. His parents are smart. Not so, saying my parents are not smart because, you know, they're always number one in school. Yeah. That's what every Kenyan parents tells their kids. You come home with a bad... Hey, bat. A bat? <laughs> a bad, bad report card. This one time, I remember in high school, I came home, I, was, I think I was at number one, in the 150s out of like 200 people. I come home and my mom is like, Guy, you mean you're number 152? You don't mean my time I used to be number one. And I'm like, Shh. But every Kenyan parent thinks that, tells their kids they're always number one. Yeah, All of them. It's motivation to get your, you know, get you. So I was actually always number one because I, I was the only kid in my class. I, I don't want to be prideful or I don't want to brag about myself in any way, you know. But I was, uh, I was class president. I was prom king. I was I was valedictorian. Class I, prefect. I class prefect. I was. I think I also won prom queen. I uh, I won it. I won it all. So I get to really tell my kids that I was number one in my class. When we have when we have children, she's not allowed to say that, but I'm allowed to tell my kids because you know I grew up. I was. I don't school. think I was ever number one. Yeah. So. So that's a little See, different, um, but yeah. most, most people aren't homeschooled. My parents did things a little differently, which I'm grateful to them for. Me, the way I was punished in school. Okay. More yeah. than me, that just gave me goosebumps. Our teachers used to punish us so bad. Me, they look on a chap on a Bansen banner. You know the pipe of a Bansen banner? Mm -hmm. That's what they used to beat us with. Time imagine it. Wow, time my genie. So, imagine. What were you like punished with in school? Like what did your parents punish you with? Time out? As a kid in school, I was actually a pretty good kid. So me, I never used to do assignments. But I used to be told to go outside the class and kneel and do my assignment outside while I'm kneeling. If, if that were to happen here in the US, that would be child abuse. Yeah. Yeah. How did you tell your parents you were in a relationship? I have to say, my parents are, were very conservative when it came to relationships. Mm -hmm. So they were probably more like, more similar to your parents and African parents. In the sense that we didn't, when we were young, and even when we were older, and we had a crush on somebody, or liked them, or maybe we were even talking to them and, and kind of dating, we did not tell our parents. No? Because we knew they would not receive it well. Really? Yeah. So with African parents, you just don't tell them they're in a relationship. <laughs> they send you to the shop, you call your boyfriend, tell him you're meeting at the shop, you stay there for three hours and then you come home. <laughs> and then when you get home, my mom used to ask me, okay, Faith, you go there, you go there, you go there. She sent me bread at nine, I'm coming home at 12. Yeah. Majestically walking in with bread. That a lunch, lunch in there, like, yeah, breakfast was a Yikes. Yikes. What was it like doing chores around the house? We had nannies up until I was 15. Nannies? Yeah. We never had any nannies. And my dad was like, I'm not hiring any more help for you guys. You're grown. So I clean the house. I do laundry. Wow. I cook lunch. <laughs> And I make dinner, wash dishes, feed the dog, and then go to bed. Now wow. you tell me what you used to do. Alright, so what I did, I would wake up, 
um, on any given day? On holiday. Holiday? Yes, on holidays. Like the chores you'd have. What chores? Hey, yeah. On holiday? To what chores? I remember getting whooped with the belt. Whooped. Bend over. Oh my gosh, that was the worst. When we, what, pants down and just how many, how many, how many lashes? Lashes would you get? I don't know. It was like no more than 10, I don't think. Oh, that's that's all. That's the weapon of mass distraction that you asked that you they used on you. Yeah, and it, it was the worst. My dad would like start taking his belt off. I was like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> don't don't bother yourself. Don't don't bother taking your belt off, please. It's okay. I get the <laughs> message. I get the point. I won't hit my sister again. I yeah. You know what's funny? Actually, the belt was the only weapon of mass distraction. And the spoon and paint sticks, paint sticks, but like paint sticks are thin and they're long, but not just the new paint sticks. Like when you stir the paint in my dad's business uh -huh. and they get a layer of paint and another layer of paint and, and they didn't become good spanking spoons until they had like a dozen layers of paint on them. And then they were like this thick and oh, it was like a, it, it burned, my it stung. Pen. My pen? I need both hands because I will lay out the weapons of mass destruction my parents used on me. Kifagio. What's that? Kifagio is the Kifagio. sweep, the one to sweep. A shoe, slippers. Shoe and slippers are not the same thing. Their hands, my mom would slap you. Oi, if my mom slapped you, oi, 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 you're going into another dimension, oi, oi. Meeting your ancestors. I would meet my ancestors that day. I think I, I met my ancestors so many times. I think I already know, you know them. them by name. Yeah, all of them. Mm, wow. Where are we? Hey, yeah, they will hit you with a knife. Hey, yeah, they don't. They don't. My, hey, hey, they don't play. African parents don't play. They don't play those games. Did I mention a belt? Mm, I don't know. We could throw it out there twice. I I don't think I mentioned a belt. And then, rubber. Rub, you know the rubber, the rubber that ties the kifagio, the broom. So in in Kenya we have different broomsticks, and the ki, and the rubber that ties them apart. My mom would take that apart. Oh, and the kifagio is old. She would take that and she would like whoop us. Sticks. You are told to go outside and pick your stick, and you dare not bring a small one because cry. Because then you will go out and she'll get a bigger one. She will be like, okay, try now. Where utoshariye? Boy. Aki used to go outside with her. She used to be get the big one. She she would take the leaves off. Man, she would whoop. She how would many? Whoop us. How many times? At how many? She doesn't care how many she's gonna give you. And then you you dare not cry. Hiya, usiliye dukarere, my friend. Dukarere, no, you're not allowed to cry. No, because she's not beating you. She's beating your mistake. That was the most ridiculous thing I ever had. You would think me and my mistake were two different bodies. Wow. Huh? And I should be like, hey, do carry it, do carry it. Diko hore te say so umekelo kaka fifty. You've been like beaten fifty times, and then they're telling you not to cry. My friend, I'm a child. I will cry. I will express my emotions. And then you're wondering, guys, is this my mother? Wow. That's <laughs> tough. You. But thank you for all of that because I'm telling you, I wouldn't be who I am Because now it's something we can pass down to our kids. Oh, I'm not, okay, I'm not beating my children that much. But sit like a slippers and a belt, Jeannie. Slippers and a belt. Those ones I won't put down. Those ones I'll be slapping them very well. I, even a slap, I'll give them. But yeah, that's how we were punished. Wow. And what would you be punished for? Oh, me. Of, of course. Of course, me. That was a loaded question. I knew there was going to be a long, <laughs> a long list. I was punished for... So, me and my sister would fight. Masi would get... Masi would beat me. My sister was bigger than me, as you can see. Me only, way only. And Masi would... We would fight me and my sister. And then, she'd start crying. She's beaten me. I've, like, swapped a fly on her face. And then my mom would be like, you're the eldest one, why are you fighting your sister? And then she would beat me. So in that day, I'd get two beatings, from my sister and from my mother. Uh. That is not enough. I'd be beaten because I never used to do my homework. I used to be a noisemaker in class. Um, 
sometimes I think I would be beaten because I used to refuse to shower or like talking back to uh, my the nanny okay. yeah I growing up I don't even know how my parents did it I mostly got beat for usually hitting my sister and I was taught from a very young age not to hit a woman were your parents ever sarcastic sarcastic no. no no if anything we would get in trouble for being sarcastic so your parents never said anything sarcastic to you guys? No. Hey, well, well. Why? What do you have in mind? The life. Guy. Boy, I think it's every African parent. Every Af I've never met an African parent that is not sarcastic. You ask them, um, you ask, you bring like plates. You, let's say maybe you bring a basin. My mom used to send me a basin of water so that she can wash her legs in the living room. So I'd bring it to her and I'd be like, Mom, where do I place this? Should I put it on my head? Or put it on your father's head. Oh my goodness. Or like you would break something. I remember Aki, I broke so many things in the house. You'd be washing dishes and you know how the glass falls in the sink? It doesn't break but it falls. They hear that? They'd be like, Faith, come. Okay. No, can I hear ya? Okay. Okay. They call you and you're like, yes, you called me. Well, they ask, tell you, open the cabinet where all the glasses are. Take all of them. Go break. The sarcasm. Wow. I cannot wait to be sarcastic with my kids because that was the funniest thing I had growing up. Be like, oh, I'm I'm hungry. There's nothing to eat. I'll be like, go grab salt where we put salt. You you think you're being told you're going to grab salt so you can eat something? Come and tell you, come sprinkle it on me and let me eat you. That that time you're like hungry, hungry. <laughs> Crazy. We. Uh, the, it you. wasn't my parents. My parents weren't sarcastic. Uh, we the kids were very sarcastic though, and sometimes we get in trouble for being too sarcastic, maybe mm -hmm. to our parents. Yeah, you were never sarcastic to your parents. Uh, yeah, um, there's no room of sarcasm. Um, stupid question. Yeah, you'd be slapped into the next dimension. Yeah, mm. those are some of the cultural differences that we have. Yeah, that we have. There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot there more. though. A lot there, but. This is just a little scratching up the surface, right? That's just like the surface. It's just like, like a little bit of the so, childhood. There's so many things that I do and I'm like, no, it's not like this. It's like this. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Remember, you can watch our latest video here if you missed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yes, right here. And you can find our other videos. If you just go to our channel, you'll find some other great, great videos. If you're new to the channel, Karibu, oh. Asante. And if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell to get notified every time we post a video. Yes, guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Goodbye. Kwaheri.